profit you to gain this whole world and lose your own soul? Ask yourself that question. What does it profit? What will a man give in exchange for his soul? Glory be to God. I'm going to show you something. There was this famous basketballer that died recently. Kobe Bryant. He owned a lot. Helicopter, cars, houses, all these things. He owned them. Millions of dollars. He owned it. I want to show you something tonight. Those of you who are listening to me. Where is he now? I mean, he, he became famous in basketball and he won't earn a lot of money. Yeah. And he got all these things. Yeah. But where is he now? Gone. Tell me something that he now has in his possession. Nothing at all. <laughs> Virgin, somebody else asleep in a big bed. God. Somebody else a driving car, a good only enemy. <laughs> Somebody else spending his money. Yes. Amen. So watch this. At the end of gaining all these things, what does it profit him in the end? Because watch this, he ended up losing the millions and everything that he had. But what does it profit it at the end of the day? He also loses his soul. Amen. the world and lose his soul. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Think about it. You can own anything you want to own in this life. But you have to work hard for it. Are you TV? Amen. Talk to us. Are you scam for it? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But God has given you your soul for free. Amen. And Jesus said, possess he your souls. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. You see, the world reach a place right now, you know. And every time I tell them, I'm say, glad to me young. Because probably if I'm old, and grew up when I say, actually, you all make your thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That's why God said, Young men, I call upon you because you are strong. 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 Glory to God. We are living in a time when people have become so materialistic. They just need this and need that and want this and want that. Yeah. We are living in a time when men don't consider their souls. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glo yes, I hear the Holy Ghost. You consider and you also that you want to finish the promotion that you want to get, the raise of pay that you want. When last have you considered your soul? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. We, we think about what we want next and what we want to do next. But when last did you sit down and consider your soul? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God says, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Listen. You see, we have reached a place you know, in this life where men try to draft up their own righteousness. Yeah. So there are some people who will tell you on the street, Oh, me, me, all right. Me, no go party. I'm me, no drink. I'm me, no smoke. I'm me, no that. You think of that alone, I sin? You were born in sin. 
And for your soul to be saved, you must be born again. It doesn't matter what you do or what you don't do. You must be born again. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. Glory to God. And he's speaking to question Jesus. And the Lord said to him, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nicodemus never understands, so Jesus gave him clarity. Yes. Jesus said, he that is born of flesh is flesh. And he that is born of spirit is spirit. No, Nicodemus. Jesus is not saying you're going to enter your mother's womb a second time. No. But he's saying that you're going to enter the womb of the Holy Ghost. And you're going to be born again of a spiritual birth so that you can become spiritual. Oh, glory to God. 